following operator training video on the Hobart 5801 meat saw is a supplement to the instruction manual that came with your Hobart meat saw. If you have any questions concerning operation, please consult your manual. Your Hobart 5801 meat saw is constructed and designed to give long, satisfactory service, providing it is properly used and maintained. This training video will cover the controls, operation, cleaning, and maintenance of the 5801 meat saw. The electrical control of the 5801 meat saw consists of this switch knob. Pull to turn the saw on and push to turn the saw off. Safety devices incorporated in this saw must be in their correct operating positions any time the saw is in use. Before turning the saw on, raise or lower the upper guide and guard assembly by grasping the hand knob and sliding it up or down so the cutting zone is only as high as necessary for the piece being cut. All doors, covers, and guards must be in their operating position closed while the machine is running. Always keep hands well back from the blade and maintain control of the product. Using the pusher plate makes it unnecessary to hold your hand near the cutting edge of the saw blade. The pusher plate is used to hold meat against the gauge plate when slicing short ends. A slot in the pusher plate and a stop on the right flanged end of the carriage is provided for proper positioning of the pusher plate. Hold the pusher plate handle with your right hand and always maintain a safe distance from the blade. When not in use, keep the pusher plate under the carriage support. Now we will demonstrate an operation using both the traveling and stationary carriage. When using the traveling carriage, stand in front of the machine. Lean lightly against the front of the carriage as you move the carriage to the left, passing the product through the blade at a steady and uniform rate. Use your left hand to remove and stack cuts, always reaching behind the blade. Never reach in front of the blade. Return the carriage to the right, pulling the product toward you and away from the blade. When using the stationary carriage, lock the carriage in position by pulling the spring-loaded carriage lock out, rotating it 90 degrees, and sliding the carriage until the lock engages. To unlock the carriage, pull the carriage lock out, and rotate it 90 degrees so it rests on its bracket. When sawing with the stationary table, observe the same safety procedure of reaching behind the blade when removing or stacking product. Never reach in front of the blade. Warning. Disconnect electrical power and place a tag at the disconnect switch indicating the circuit is being worked on before cleaning this machine. The saw must be thoroughly cleaned and sanitized before first use, after each day's operation, any time it is not to be used for an extended period of time, and before being put into operation after an extended downtime. The meat saw can be cleaned with high-pressure cleaning equipment available from other suppliers, or it can be disassembled and its components cleaned in a sink. In either case, a neutral pH cleaning agent mixed per the supplier's instructions should be used. After washing, thoroughly sanitize, rinse, and dry the saw and all components. Disassemble the following components to allow access to all areas for cleaning. The upper pulley cover, lower cover scrap pan, the table's right and left hand, the scrap tray, carriage, column guard, pulley wiper, blade scrapers, lower blade guide assembly, saw blade, refer to maintenance section of this video, upper guide and guard assembly, and the upper and lower pulleys. Use a cloth or brush to clean the base unit. Before reassembly, a light coating of tasteless mineral oil should be applied to all metal surfaces. 
Lubricate six ball bearings on the carriage with a small amount of mineral oil. Apply a few drops of mineral oil to the gauge plate slide rod and work the gauge plate assembly back and forth a few times. Reassemble the saw components in reverse order of disassembly, making sure all parts are properly assembled. If using high pressure cleaning equipment, scrape the machine and its components to remove any scrap particles before cleaning. Thoroughly hose the saw and its components following the equipment supplier's instructions. Be sure to get the hose screen into all corners. Stubborn soil may require a little brushing. Warning, disconnect electrical power supply and place a tag at the disconnect switch indicating the circuit is being worked on. The motor has permanently lubricated ball bearings and requires no lubrication. The slide bar for the upper guide and guard assembly also require no lubrication. Occasionally, you should apply a small amount of mineral oil to the six ball bearing rollers underneath the carriage. On a more frequent basis, the gauge plate slide rod and the pulley shafts need a few drops of tasteless mineral oil. If changing saw blades, Disassemble the components as described in the cleaning section of this tape. Reinstall the blade so teeth point to the right and down. This concludes operator training for the Hobart 5801 meat saw. To obtain service and parts information concerning the 5801 meat saw, contact your local Hobart service office.